Dean, I'm being threatened that if I don't pay a very large company half a million dollars that they're going to file a giant lawsuit and basically just run up my legal bills and just crush my company out of existence. And I don't know what to do. Um, $500,000 is obviously a massive amount of money, but at the same time, um, I'm taking it very seriously because they do have the resources to actually follow through on the threats. So I'm not really sure what to do in this situation. Okay, so let me ask you a few questions about it. So did the lawyers contact you or did the party contact you themselves? Uh, it was the lawyers, the in-house counsel. And did the in-house counsel, okay. And so did they send you a letter or did they send you an email or just a phone call? It started with a cease and desist letter. Basically, they didn't like what I did. Okay. Um, and then they followed up that, that letter when I didn't respond saying that they'd been damaged for half a million dollars and they wanted me to pay that to avoid litigation. Okay. And did they give you a time frame to pay? Uh, they, they wanted a response within seven days. And they haven't started a lawsuit? No, not yet. Okay. So, generally, there's just two ways to look at that. Generally, when someone sends you that type of thing, like a cease and desist letter, which is, it's not really a thing, it just means stop doing what you're doing. Right? There's nothing magical about it, but, you know, it's effectively they're threatening to sue or a threatening injunction, but the truth is, it's, it's nothing in, in Canadian courts that are very specific in that. There's, there's no legal term uh, that the courts use. So if you get that, that, that should tell you one of two things. One is uh, they don't want to sue, right? Right. They wanted to sue, they would sue. Right. If they were serious, they would sue because you know the timing doesn't even start. Like a letter, a letter really has no value other than you know uh, maybe at some point they could show the court that they warned you. That's so it's it's really a warning. Uh, you have to take that seriously because um, you know even if it's in house, but it, more so if it's not in house. Someone's got so upset that they hired a lawyer and either used them as a resource or pay for them, uh, put together a case and um, had them send it to you and trying try to influence you. So, so you, know, you have to take it seriously. Uh, sometimes I've seen in, in instances, it's somewhat ridiculous. It's, it's kind of, I would imagine, um, someone's come to a lawyer and said, I want them to stop this right away. And the lawyer might say, well, you don't have the right to do that. But I want them to yeah. send a letter. Okay, scare them. put it scare. Put it on right. a letter and send it to them. Um, that, so that's one way that it happens. And and those, you know, you're still going to take a risk. You know, uh, in this province, um, anybody can sue anybody. There's no criteria for it. Right. People, people don't understand that. So they can just sue you. So you know, the letter might be a precursor to suing. The letter might just be, I don't want to sue them. I just want them to try to see if you can scare them. Right. So. As a business person uh, or a personal you know, individual, you still have to assess that. Probably the, there's two things you can do. Uh, you can, well, three things. You can ignore it, risk there, but you can ignore it. Nothing happens by that nature. They can either decide to sue you or send you another letter. If they send you another letter, it's a good chance that's all you're ever going to get. Right. But not 100%, but that's a good chance. You know, my personal preference is, and I tell my clients, you don't threaten to do something you're not going to do. So if you say you're going to threaten someone if they don't do X, Y, and Z by a certain point, and they don't do that, right. you should sue, right? Um, and if you don't do that, then it doesn't matter what happens after that. Your credibility's gone, effectively, the lawyer's credibility's gone. Sure. So um, that's why I asked you about timing and amounts. You know, um, If someone sends a cease and desist, which is stop doing something, you know, if you can stop doing it without too much issue, then you should probably stop doing it, right? Right. If you were wrong to do it, like say you sit, uh, um, you put on a web, uh, you know, something out there that you knew wasn't true, you you got a problem, right? right? And you should probably take steps to reverse that. And, delete you know, it. Yeah, delete it. And in defamation, you have to do a little bit more than that to a certain degree, but you know, those are very technical things. Defamation is quite technical in right. nature. So you can ignore it, you can do what they ask you to do, um, you know, uh, or you can just can kind of continue what you're doing. And, and um, if they sue you, um, you will uh, have to respond within 21 days. And then it's kind of started. Then you're into a lawsuit. You right. know? And that's gonna be expensive, time consuming. Um, it's gonna be stressful because the truth is, uh, they're going to allege something, and you're going to be alleged something different, but a judge is going to have to decide at some point. And that right. can take years, hundreds of thousands of dollars, or 10000 or whatever the case may be, but it's not going to be cheap. 
Um, so it's still cheaper than half a million though, paying the yes. full amount right yes. now. Yes, it's, I would say it's unusual, it's it's not usual, or it's unusual, that, that a cease and desist or a letter will come with such a steep payment in such a short period of time. It's normally take something down, stop doing something, right. stop harassing my client, take this off. That's normally what it is. Or you pay $25,000. I can tell you my process is generally, if you can avoid litigation for my clients, uh, we try and do that. So you might send a letter. Um, if the letter is well articulated, states the facts correctly, has decent and recent law, right. and then has a number that is pay us this, and the number is connected to the law that they've given you and the facts they've given you um, that are tr truly, you should really probably go see a lawyer and think about paying that if that's doable for you. Right, because that's what the judge might award in the end anyway, yes. plus legal costs. Yes, and if, again, if the other side's smart, they'll say, for example, if we go to court, you're going to have to pay 80000 and legal costs. Blah, blah. And so if they say to you, but we want 50000 today, you know, if you were in the wrong, you, this might be the cheapest this ever gets. Because right. you're going to have to pay your own lawyer, you're going to have to pay some of theirs maybe. So what I would suggest is you speak to a lawyer and you ask that lawyer, look, this is what happened. And it's really important, and after I'm sure you know this and I know you know this, you're accurate with your client, with your lawyer, because if the lawyer, you don't tell them something accurate, yeah. they can't make an assessment, they can't give you an opinion. You don't want it to come out right before the trial or during discovery and then your lawyer is like, oh my God, like we right. already wrote all this stuff and said all this stuff. Yeah, and how can my advice be accurate if right. what you told me is not accurate? So, but, and then you should take that lawyer's advice. Now, um, many lawyers, you know, for not a whole bunch of money, will give you their opinion. And if you really believe that you're right, then you go to a few lawyers. Right. And if they say the same thing, then you probably need to deal with it, and you probably should think about paying. Now, you could also respond and say, okay, like, I'm not going to give you that, but how about I give you 10000 Right. You go away, I'll sign a release, and I'll stop doing that. Yeah. Uh, but I, I would never do that, you know, I, I'm not a big believer in, in paying money you don't have to pay. 